The nights are drawing in. Autumn is upon us. So what are you going to do? Well, get crafting, of course. Let's start the show. We're going to start off today by making this lovely mini floral wreath. So it says it's a mini felt floral wreath. Make your own hanging decoration. And inside the kit comes a pre-cut selection of felt pieces, a wreath hoop, ribbon, needle, thread, and the most important thing for me, instructions. And of course, we all read the instructions of what we're going to use for the first time, don't we? So let's open this up. As you can see, I haven't opened it at all, so I don't know exactly what it's going to be like inside. I've got some scissors here in case I need them. I don't know if I will. And I guess this is a wreath that you could make at any time of year. It doesn't have to be like for a special occasion like Christmas or anything like that. Ooh, it's quite a lot of instructions. Um, let's see what we've got in here. So we've got, that looks like a pen top or a little, oh, it's needle and thread. <laughs> An earring, a big hoop. I used to wear earrings like this, you know? Yeah. Do you remember Bet Lynch from uh, Coronation Street? Well, yeah, I was like that. A little envelope with something in it and that's it. Okay, so we'll put that to one side and let's see what is in this envelope. And just speaking of days gone by, when I used to be in my first job, I would get paid with one of these envelopes with 40 pounds in British money. Yes, indeed. Ah, this is the felt pieces. Look at this and the ribbon. Okay, so let's spread these out and see what we've got. This looks like some petals here. Ooh, I'm not gonna touch that yet in case I do something that I'm not supposed to. And the same with that, but we'll spread it out so as we've got it. Okay, needle and thread, that's gonna be the most difficult bit. So let's look at the instructions. And it's from a company called Make. Make something beautiful. Well, I don't know about that. Oh dear, this looks complicated. Right, it says, this kit contains everything you need to create your own beautiful blooms, adorning a hoop to create a handmade hanging wreath that can be displayed in your home as a fantastic alternative to real foliage. Getting started. Stitch guide. Running stitch. Probably the most widely used stitch in sewing. Running stitch involves simply weaving the needle in and out of the fabric. So that's what I do when I mend my socks and other items of clothing when they've got holes in them. You can place the next stitch wherever you like, making it ideal for creating freestyle designs. That sounds good to me. But then it goes on to talk about a whip stitch. This is great for layering pieces of felt on top of one another. Lay your felt pieces in place, thread your needle, tying a knot at the loose end of the thread. Bring your needle up from behind, about one to two millimeters from the edge of the felt. Bring the needle back down on the other side of the seam, you should now have a straight stitch sitting at a right angle to the edge of the felt. That sounds complicated to me. Anyway, it says now we've covered the basic stitches, we can get started. So this kit contains enough to make one extra of each felt component so you can practice your stitching. Or you could even get creative and use them in your finished make. The following instructions make the design featured on the instruction sheet but feel free to add additional components to create your own bespoke design. Okay, so the first step is making the flowers. Well, this is what we are aiming for. And it uh, looks easy enough, but then I look at the instructions and think otherwise. And this is the list. So it starts off by saying, making the flowers, the large headed rose is first of all. So that is, this one, a large headed rose. So it says, tie a knot at the end of a length of thread and get your needle and thread ready. Ah, so I will need my scissors. So this needle actually has got quite a big head head hole in it, if you like. 
which is good because I always find threading needles very, very difficult. And even more difficult is trying to find the edge of the thread in the first place. I think that's it there. I can sort of see it's tugging. Oh dear, why do they make these things so difficult? There we go. Ah, so it's coming off. So I don't know how much I'll need. Let's do that amount. And one trick that I was always taught by my mother was to lick the end of your thread before you put it through the, the hole because it kind of stiffens it a bit. Oh gosh, it's stuck between my teeth. <laughs> Is it floss? Right, okay, here we go. Get this pole. Can you see that? Okay. Oh, it's gone, it's going through, it's going through. Will I be able to get it? Is there enough? Yes, there is. There we are, first go. That doesn't often happen. Right, okay. And what I always do is tie a knot at the end of it. I suppose there's different ways of sorting out your thread. And that's, this, is, this is my way of doing it. And I normally put two knots so as it doesn't run through. And there's also a bit of a skill, I think, in getting the knots in the right place. Because <clears throat> you don't want them to be not in the right place. And we'll just clip the edge off that. Gosh, these scissors aren't as sharp as I thought they were. Never mind. Okay, so where were we? So tie a knot at the end of the thread uh, and get your needle and thread. Yes, yeah, so I've got that. Take the end of the piece of felt. The end. Is that that? Um, and curl it tightly following the spiral to create the inner petals. Sew the piece in place using a whip stitch to hold the curl. Follow the, oh goodness, follow the spiral around sewing with whip stitch as you go. Right, so I think, does it mean this? To spring it out like that, and then you sew each, each level. Uh, you should start to see a spiral of petals forming the inner part of the flower. I'm going to have to look at this now to see what it is. <clears throat> is that right? You're not doing the outside right. I think that you're just doing the inside. The inside, this way around. Right, or which way? Follow the... Which way does this... Sew the piece of... Uh, take the end of the piece of felt in the centre, right? That's this bit. To put it... And down. curl it tightly. Following the spiral, create the inner petals. That's like that. Should we have a look at this again? Welcome back. Well, look, it's looks like something. Which way round do you think is best? That way or that way? <clears throat> anyway, we finish it off with this lovely piece of ribbon. And this is the easiest bit, or at least it should be, where you just tie it with a couple of knots onto the top of your ring. One, one knot actually would probably do. And then you can Tie it again to leave a little space so you can hang it up somewhere on a double knot, like so. <clears throat> and there we have, that's what it should look like. And that's what it does look like. So shall we hang it up? 
Well, here we are. I think this is a lovely addition to any home and a perfect gift for someone as well. Let's hang it there and it will remind us of this lovely day when we made a floral wreath. You've heard of the three S's, haven't you, Paul? No, I haven't. They're sun, sea, and subscribe. for not subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus, but you can still make it good. Just hit the subscribe button. is drag. That's a popular saying that RuPaul will always say on her program. So Marcus got me this really interesting um, make your own drag queen and I received it um, as a gift and I haven't opened it yet. Want to try adding your own photo so you can become a fabulous drag queen? I don't know about that but yeah maybe another time. Uh, so mold and shape the dough to create your fabulous queen. Choose a dress, pick a face, add the feather boa to make her even more fab. Work it, girl. All right, now let's open this baby up. Well, I brought out this cutting board because I didn't want to get all this dough onto the actual table. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one, look one, the one with the pink dress. This certainly brings me back to when I was growing up. Um, we did have Play-Doh, which is kind of what this sort of feels like. So I'm going to mold everything out as the images um, depict to make it easier for me when it comes to sculpting it in the end.
standing there. She's falling. <laughs> Do I put the head on now? The blonde one, maybe? There you have it. Well, this was fun, wasn't it? I think it brings out the inner kid inside of all of us. And I think it's a bit of escapism. And it's just a good old-fashioned fun, which is good every so often. So I would recommend baking your own drag queen if you have this product at home. And there are four queens to choose from. So I will say goodbye for Marcus and myself today. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.